on the most westerly blasket in a dry stone hut he got this air out of the night strange noises were heard by others who followed bits of a tune coming in on loud weather Done nothing like anything he blamed their fingers here as unpracticed their fiddling easy but he had gone alone into the island and brought back the whole thing the house throbbed like his full violin so whether he calls it spirit music or not I don't care he took it out of the wind off the mid-Atlantic still he maintains from nowhere it comes off the bow bravely rephrases itself into the air and of course part of what's going on is the Irish word air means air as we know but also it means music this is Tagore's poem waiting and it seems to me what's clever about this is it does completely contradict three things it's all about nothing happening it's strangely modern it reminds me a bit of like waiting for God though. but there is a spiritual dimension you could be waiting for God um, for something to turn out to be meaning um, but that doesn't happen it could even be romantic it's a little bit like Vermeer where those paintings of women at windows or reading letters something is going to happen or it's not going to happen so this is waiting the song I came to sing remains unsung to this day I have spent my days in stringing and in unstringing my instruments the time has not come true the words have not been rightly set only there is the agony of wishing in my heart I have not seen his face nor have I listened to his voice only I have heard his gentle footsteps from the road before my house but the lamp has not been lit and I cannot ask him into my house I live in the hope of meeting with him but this meeting is not yet so it's all about negatives it's all about what doesn't happen and he makes a fantastic poem about absences you know and i'm going to wrap up with a poem mine which is in the spirit of a structured improvisation um, relating to gins snakes um, and i think the rest of it speaks for itself we do get onto the holy grail which has in fact in the past been uh, related to aspects of uh, indian tradition so bear with me by Shoda's poetry festival, <coughs> excuse me, by Shoda's poetry and music festival stage in Roundy, the park, I should explain one thing, excuse me. A hay, a dance, round hay. A hay is a very lively dance, hence Antic Hay, the book called Antic Hay, which is a quote from Marlowe's play. And <coughs> it's a serpentine. The dance is serpentine in its form, the snake in form. By Shoda's poetry and music festival stage in Roundy, the part with a circle dance, serpent's dance name, I wait my turn, my mind turning over the organizer's words. Rag Malkush always seems to me like an Irish tune. I wait to read with its magic music going around my head. It's shock. The last beat also a first, as if in a Triskelion reel. My mind unreels a line of an old song set in round the part come to the fairy glen winding into the fairy lament from Ireland where I heard that fairies were once angels exiles with neutrality in heaven to the world fairies jinns or poets are many sided good to bad shaded black to white in one story those neutral angels are those that guard the holy grail to find the grail Parzival needed good turns from his handsome, half Moorish, half brother Diotis, with skin likened to writing on vellum. I write on milk of the ocean churned by Vasuki, serpent's aid to Shiva of the Triple Godhead, in that old story once linked to the Holy Grail. But what if Vasuki turns? bites his tail like the Celtic serpent. Suddenly 
I hear a ringing shout. festival in Roundy Park with its circle dance, serpent dance name. I read this poem for the very first time. I've read this poem here forever. Thank you for listening.